I have not my health or good spirit, and my soul bears the conscience of the terrible sin I've committed. I continue to think that it is the work of the doctor, Chillingworth, that he is causing this pain in my breast, which grows stronger by the day. The spiritual pain of my sin allows me little sleep at night to rest my weary mind. I fear that my position will only continue to worsen, so long as I am under the eyes and influence of this town, of this people. The community calls me compassionate. They call me understanding. However, I think it is the community that is uncompassionate, that lacks understanding. The same community that branded Hester Prynne with a mark of shame. The same community that rejects her child, who has done no wrong of her own. Those two. When I think upon them, I feel the breath of life return to me, if only for a brief moment's reprieve. Hester's resolve is surely stronger than mine, and she has bore the full brunt of our sin all these years, without a moment of weakness. Surely, though, Hester must understand the position I'm in. How lost our congregation would be if they found out the spiritual guide that they had followed for so long was an adulterer. Ministry is the purpose of my life, and God has called me into his service. However, the judgmental eyes of this town would never let me preach again if I were to confess my sin publicly. All of my sermons, all of the messages I have tried so hard to preach about, would be burned forever out of the memory of the townspeople. That night on the scaffold, Pearl asked me if I'd stand with them the next day on the scaffold at noon. That child is something special, and Hester has done a good job of raising her. It pains me to not be able to remain close to the two of them. I responded to Pearl that I'd stand with them on the scaffold on Judgment Day. Now, no moral punishment can compare to the punishment God will hand down for my actions. Until then, I see no other option but to stay the course and to fulfill my duty to God in teaching others of His Word. Hester is very compassionate. She understands my position. However, I think Pearl was distressed by my answer. <laughs> the idealistic naivety of children. Now, if only some of that childlike innocence remained within the community, perhaps then I could see myself confessing my sins on the scaffold with them.